We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tennessee Titans and the Indians. season has hit high gear and off we go in week 11 on EA Sports and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 Play fake here on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first drive. Pick six. The offense never got a chance to really get oiled up there, did they? But the defense, they certainly got in gear. What a big-time play and a great way for them to start. And now the offense, they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. This is Derek Henry, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and ten at the 25-yard line. Well, they had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and ten. Looking to throw. Smith catches left side. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. On first down, it's Henry. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. He's brought down at the a gain of three, second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high-powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because, to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to that. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Back to throw. This one caught by Davis. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. The tackle made a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six. Brings up second and four at the Colts' 39-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Yeah. 
The play action fake. They'll look to throw. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Blackman. Julian Blackman just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. They just gave up a sack there. And if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are. And I'm wondering if maybe a back, someone to help assist. Because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. On third down, he'll drop to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. down, Mariota. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 23 yards on the play. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mariota. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. I call it no game there on the first down play. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. On the other side of midfield at the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. Off the play fake. Mariota. They'll roll him out right. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A gain there of 21 yards. 24-yard line. First and 10, Taylor now. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Good. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. First and goal at the seven yard line. They'll run here with Mack. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Loss of one. Brings up second and goal at the eight yard line. Six nothing our score after one. With the score, Colts six, Titans nothing. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight yard line, second and goal.
Again, it'll be Mack. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Seven big yards on the carry there to get it within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. And goal. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Colts add on to their lead. Get up to the line, Mariota. His guys will go for two here. From the gun, Mariota. That is caught. He's got it. And the lead will move to 14 to nothing. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. The punt's, on the first better. Drive. the punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. They'll run on first down. Henry. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the 47-yard line. to throw now on second and ten looking for his running back and he's got him and this one goes nowhere losing yardage on the play back at the 46 it'll go as a loss of a yard so now they deal with third and 11 now third and 11 after that second down completion actually went back a yard they'll drop the throw into heavy traffic and it's intercepted Duke Dawson picks it and a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30 yard line He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the interception here, Mariota. He completes this one to Mack. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Now, despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. They'll run here with Mack. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 13, it's a first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Desmond King picks it. 
with some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. On second down, here's Henry. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. The Titans on third down. Just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Less than a yard. This is Henry. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. By 22, he's going 22. By 19. By 22, by 22. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 34-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. It's second and eight. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Try and run the option to pick it up. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. First down, Tennessee. Right back to him on first down. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. From the five, second and four. from the gun with Henry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left. And it's third down. Brown, the lone receiver left. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Get it. 
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Rick Zerline set to kick off. Second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Fielded near the back of the end zone, and no thought of a return here for Hines. Offense at the line and set to go. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They go to the ground again with Taylor. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL, and all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Watch that in. Watch that in. Tight end right. And they run the option here. Intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Could you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They'll run it again with Henry. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he will have a Titans first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. At the 8-yard line. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. He'll get 2 out of that run, and it's going to bring up a 2nd and goal. A pickup of 2 brings up 2nd and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. touchdown. Derrick Henry, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again.
But now the Titans leaving the offense out there. They'll go for two. They'll try and run it in with Henry. And he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's complete to Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Ball at the 24 at a second and 11. Working out of the gun, Mari. It's going to be intercepted a third time. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, yeah, but not yeah, before he's down it. inside the five-yard line at the four. Take over he had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. He'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Brings up Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans have taken the lead. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now. Two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said. It's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this case. Of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud? You did. Yeah, my bad. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. To throw again on second down. Mariota. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one. And it's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch. Take the hit. And pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well. And popped it free from his grasp. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Taylor. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. A first down throw for Mariota. Forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. 
Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Mariota now from the 50. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll try and run for this with Mack. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. On first and ten, here's Mariota. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Throw it, Mariota. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. third down for the eighth play of the drive. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but it's still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Well, I think you'd have to say defensively, these guys are doing their job pretty well, right? Yeah, we talked about them holding them under 20 points, right, on defense. And they've done that. They've held them. The problem is their own offense hasn't answered their challenge, which was to score more. Yeah, exactly. I remember you saying magic number was right around 20, and the offense has been the issue. You're right. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And he good enough for the first. He's tackled. And it'll be a pickup of just two. And it'll move the chains. First down, Titans. Let's go. 
from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Second and 14. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Complete to Derek. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. to throw here hard throw incomplete critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there that clock keeps rolling it has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline Agnew now to return It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. At their own 28-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Jonathan Taylor, five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second and five now. Mariota. Open man is Trey Burton. That one a first down pickup of eight. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Gonna be driven down. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one score game. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now on second and 16, Mariota. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Throw here, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. 
Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Third and long. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Over the middle to Smith. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. He has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Ian Hines on the return. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Offense at the line and set to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. He's got Burton here. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. looking for and that'll bring up second down this secondary as a unit they've worked really well together in this one especially late a lot of cohesiveness a lot of communication and some great athleticism they're playing so well now a nickname is sure to follow they got to name this whole unit soon this one into the hands of burton and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 19 yards to pick up there move the chains Mariota to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Yes, folks, that is his third interception. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because... There is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory 
And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Tennessee... It's a win that might keep them alive in the playoff race as they're back to 500 at 5-5. Five and five. And another road date awaits them next week as their opponents will be the Los Angeles Chargers. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, they come back to the pack a bit as their record falls to 7-3. and three. And they'll have a quick turnaround as they're back in action Thursday afternoon at around 3.30 Eastern for the traditional Thanksgiving Day game in Dallas. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.